Welcome back everyone, this is Ultra Lavos playing Metal Gear. Last time, we got captured by the enemy. And now we're in this solitary cell with no way out. And all Big Boss told us was, check the way. Which thing is how he's drunk, I'm gonna assume that he meant check the wall. So let's check the wall by punching it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it makes a weird noise. And if we punch here, there's a door. Let's rescue this hostage, which is number seven. And he is Gray Fox. Yes, the Metal Gear, which I'm going to destroy. And that sounds like a bad deal. Yeah, we don't want them completing it. That's my mission, to stop this. Yes, and I will destroy it, don't worry. I will destroy the Metal Gear in a game entitled Metal Gear. There's only one way, though. How do I do it? Petrovich? Where is he? In Building 1... Aren't I in Building 1? No, actually, you're not in Building 1. In the original MSX version of the game... Uh, whoops. You, uh... You were actually moved to the basement of Building 1. But in this, you're moved to a totally different building, for some reason. Uh, the items you can obtain in this area are the same. And now we got the first boss. Shotgunner. And we have no weapons. Let's run. Oh, look. What's this? There's all our weapons and equipment. Awesome. Well, let's put on the missiles. And let's check out our equipment. Transmitter? Let's get rid of that. We don't need the enemy knowing where we are. This is why I said to save the missiles. If you have four, you can kill them in four shots. Shoot, aim, and destroy. Uh, it will kill him exactly with four shots. If you miss with one or don't have four, you'll have to use your gun. Shoot him a few more times to finish him off. Well, there we go, and he is dead. Now let's get card two on. And now we have card number three. And I believe we need card three to get through here. And there's a dog we can punch. Now we need card two. And what's this? Body armor. That will reduce the amount of damage that you take, which is nice for a few places in the game. That dog's just frozen. And up here... The bomb blast suit, which is the only way we can get past that wind barrier that's up on the roof. Now this area here in the original game was like a huge maze with uh, walls you had to punch to find weaknesses in and you could actually use your plastic explosives to destroy them, which they took all that out in this version. But basically the items were the same, the only difference is you actually needed card four to get into this room. And you get the enemy uniforms, which will be useful later on. Now if we go through here, we're outside. Like I said, we were taken to another building, which leads us to this maze area. If you try going back left, north, south, it just repeats itself. It doesn't tell you in the game how to get through this. I don't know how you're supposed to figure it out. I guess trial and error. But in this and the other forest maze section, you have to go west, west, north, and then west again to get through it, which we'll be doing later. For right now, we're going to go in this truck and restock on rations. Because now that we're ranked 2, we can get up to 6. And I may as well use one. Fill my health up. There we go. 
Now we just need to go down south to get back to building one. Make a pit stop in this truck. We get some plastic explosives. Now we should have 10 of those. And that truck there will move us to a different location, which we don't want to do. And here we have key card four, which in the MSX version was in the courtyard area that you parachuted to from the roof, which we won't get to do any of that fun stuff in the NES port. So now we can use our newly obtained card four. And we're back here, and if we go over here, this is the elevator on the east side of the building. Which we're going to take to go to floor two now, which we haven't gone to yet. And we'll just make a huge circle around this floor. Sleeping on the job. Take that. I need a gun. These uh, little blocks here shoot security beams out that you can't see until you get the infrared goggles. Not really a big deal though. Uh, card one maybe. And here's another hostage. I believe this is number eight. And he has no useful information at all. I think we need three for this one. And hostage number nine. Oh, the roof. Which, uh, I think Petrovich was actually being held in the courtyard in the MSX version, so that guy would have told you he's in the courtyard. And here's boss number two, the machine gun kid. We can just kind of shoot down these alleyways. He'll run into our bullets. No need using anything else. Pretty easy, boss. You shouldn't even get hit. But I did. Now that he's gone, we can go up here. Card four. Nope. Card two. How about one? We can get the parish the the iron glove. That's where the parachute was. Instead, we get an iron glove, which I think is totally worthless. I've never equipped it. I think it's used to, like, beat up walls to make holes, but maybe it has to be in your inventory. I don't know. I've always picked it up, but I don't know. I don't know if you actually need to get that or not. So we go through here. That guy's going to try to turn on that floor, but I'm not going to let him. And here's the infrared goggles, which is pretty much useless too. You can see those lasers, but no point really. And over in this door, card one again, is another hostage. I think that's number 10. So we rank up. Now we can carry a lot of ammo, I think 200 for our handgun, like 60 maybe, 30 for our grenade launcher, I think it's 30. We can also carry 15 mines, plastic explosives. We do want 15 mines though, so that'll be very vital for an upcoming section. That guy seems to have woken up. That was easy. I need more ammo though. I wish there was somewhere close by to get ammo. There is, don't worry. Watch out for another rolling barrel of death. And right down there below us.
Down to eight bullets, man. I can just run in and out of this room, I guess. That'll be just as quick. Oh, how fun. Why doesn't it just fill you up to max? I don't understand. I mean, since you can do this or open your transceiver to receive more, why don't it just... Hey, here you go. Max amount you can carry. Save me some time. And that should be everything to max. Yep. Well, everything that ammunition will fill up. Grab us some more plastic explosives. Now we can head to the roof. All the way up to the top. And now this is the roof, and I'll go ahead and show you what this transceiver message says. You need to quit drinking, you forget a lot, okay? I've already got a bomb blast suit. So that's what we need, because if you try running down here, it just blows you back. Well, this is all for now. And this is Ultra Lavos playing Metal Gear. We'll tackle what's up on the roof next time. See you then.